Hello friends, in this video we will see how to apply the earthquake loads and this is one of the three methods by which we will learn how to apply the earthquake loads okay and it is the simplest of all and this is the method that we will follow on the further tutorials okay okay so for this what you need to do is start go to define and click on load patterns over here and after that here you can see that we have already defined earthquake load eqx and earthquake load eqy right so now what we do we make minor changes on these two loads okay so select the load and after that click on drop down menu over here and you can see that there are lots of codes that are listed here okay so you have to select the code that is followed in your country okay so here i'll select is that is followed in indian regions and is 893 2002 and we click on modify so after that we can see that we got a new button over here and we click on modify lateral load and here you can see that we have to change uh, many coefficients and factors over here and these coefficients and factors okay so in the direction and eccentricity so you can see that we applied the earthquake load in the x direction so what we'll do we'll just uncheck these three options that are of the y directions and here is the eccentricity ratio so we'll take five percentage of eccentricity throughout the service life of the building okay so store range is from the base up to the roof so that's correct and a factor so response reduction factor r is five so so what is the response reduction factor so you start whenever our building is hit by an earthquake certain earthquake load is absorbed by the building okay not all the earthquake load uh, that acts on the building makes the building too sick okay so certain portion of the load is absorbed so that capacity of the building is determined by the response reduction factor okay so we'll open the code to see the response reduction factor and here you can see that for the ordinary rc movement resisting frame that is for omrf the response reduction factor is three and for a special rc movement resisting frame that is for smrf the response reduction factor is five so what is omrf so it means that uh, this building or this frame structure has been designed as per the code but there is no ductility detailing provided or the structural members has not been detailed as per the ductility requirement of the code okay all right so a uh, special movement resisting frame means that these frame structures have been uh, designed as per the code and they are also detailed as per the ductility requirements of the code okay so uh, our building is smrf so we'll take reduction factor as five and seismic zone factor okay so seismic zone factor it means that it, it determines the severity of the earthquake in your region okay so here is the table uh, for the seismic zone factor so seismic intensity so if the intensity is very low uh, you take at 0 0.10 if it's moderate 0 0.16 if it's severe it's 0 0.24 and it's very severe 0 0.36 okay so it depends up upon the location of your building where your building is located okay so my building is located at very severe condition so we'll take the seismic uh, zone factor as 0 0.36 okay okay so the next is site type uh, if your structure is located at the site where the soil is very strong you have to take the soil type as as one and if your structure is located at the location where your soil type is very much poor you have to take the soil type as three and if your structure is located in moderate soil type you have to take the site type as two right so importance factor that is i so it's one over here and i'll show you code from where the importance factor is mine okay so here you can see that if your building is very important where there is movement of a lot of peoples then your building is important okay so for example uh, community buildings such as hospitals schools monumental structures okay so in such case you have to take the importance factor as 1.5 and for all other buildings like for the residential buildings you have to take the importance factor as one okay okay so you can take importance factor uh, greater than these values because if you can consider your building as very much important so uh, these values don't restrict that thing okay so let's take one for now and also time period uh, so it's approximate if you want to give any ap approximate value so program calculated the program will calculate the time period for you or user defined so in this situation what you have to do you have to calculate the time period using this formula over here so you can see uh, over here so time period is equal to 0 0.075 h to the power 0 0.75 where h is the height for the building and these two formulae hold true uh, if there is no brick infill in the building okay so if there is brick infill so you have to use this formula so ta is 0 0.09 so it should be 
into h so times h divided by root over d where h is the height of the building and d is the base dimension okay so base dimension means the total width of the building okay right so okay so we'll take the option as program calculated and we'll let the program do its calculation and we click on okay and after that what we do we click on eqi and follow the same procedure and click on is 8090 and click on modify load after that we go here and we uncheck these three options and rest of the things are as it is okay and we click on okay and after that we click on okay and this is how we apply the earthquake loads okay so hope this video is helpful see you in the next video